Hello ROS developers and welcome to a new video about how to develop with ROS. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning with just a 10 minutes video. I'm Ricardo and today we are going to see how to have an amazing simulation of an industrial environment running in one minute. This simulation will include robotics arms, autonomous mobile robots and even conveyor belts. But uh, before anything else, uh, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. And you will find the link of the academy on, the, on this video description. Now, let's start with uh, the subject of today. And for that, uh, what we are going to see is how to launch, how to have it running, this magnificent simulation called iReact, created by the Gazebo team at the OSRF. And basically, it's uh, here you have a video of something that is capable of doing. And that's what we are going to do and to have in just one minute running. Isn't it amazing? Yes, that's great. Okay, so how we are we going to do this? Well, very simple. We are going to use the ROS Development Studio. So I have already created that simulation and installed, uh, followed all these steps that are described uh, here in some point here in the documentation. Yeah, here at the area wiki. So if you go there, you can find uh, this is for the 2018 that we'll cover in another video, in a future video. Now we are working about this one because it's also very great, even if it's not possible to be used for the competition of this year. But anyway, so uh, here you have all the information. I will put a link to this into the video description, okay? So I have followed all the process, all the steps, and already ran running for us this. So let's go to the ROS Development Studio. Then I have created the project here, ARIAC 2018. And then I'm going to open just to show you, okay, how it looks. And now, so... This is basically what I'm going to share with you. So uh, just have a look at how it works, okay? So uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, launch a shell. And here, everything under the simulated workspace. Here we have several uh, workspaces. There is one that is called the simulation workspace. Inside source, we have here the ARIAC, you see is the ARIAC, uh, all the code, okay, that is there. And that's it. So it has been installed, I have followed all the procedures, I have compiled, etc, etc. And it's ready to be run. So let's run it. First, before running, I have to source and the setup bash that has installed the ARIAC. Is this setup it created in the simulation workspace install, okay? So I'm, I'm sourcing it and then I'm running the simulation. Just copy and paste here the command. And don't worry, all this information is, is beneath this video. So you can get it. So launching this command will launch the simulation. Okay, so this here is running. And where is going to appear this simulation? Okay, so here in the tools, you open the gazebo tool. And then there a new window will show and we should see in a short time, we should see here the simulation. Okay, it's loading. And here it is. We are very close to some object in the simulation. Just move away. Use your icon. And here it is. Great. So have a look at this. This is amazing simulation. They have done uh, so beautiful work and uh, amazing and very professional. Here uh, you have many sensors around. Um, you have, for example, this sensor here, another sensor there, more sensors here, the autonomous robot, and also here you have the, the arm, the UR5, and you can configure many, many things. We are going to do a, a live class by the end of May that uh, we are going to work with this simulation, so we are going to do some things 
about this simulation and learn how to do, how to grasp things, make this simulation work in, in the way that it should be working. And you can uh, come to this live class that is going to be on the 23rd of May. Okay, so it's a free class online that you can attend and practice at the same time as I do. Okay, so uh, anyways, here we have the simulation that is, and just just to show you very briefly, very quickly how it works, I have also created a small demo script. So I'm launching another, an, an additional shell. And here, let me put it here. And I'm going to show you this script that I have created. Is uh, So I'm going to show you how it works. Katkin is inside the Katkin workspace and it's, a, it's called demo. So if I run it, then it's going to start everything on the uh, on here on the simulation. And it's going to start. And yeah, there is an error there, but don't pay too much attention. It's just for the demo. And here it goes. So here it goes the robot arm that is moving and going to the to the this robot. And then the robots are moving around. It's just a small demo, okay, of the things that you can do. And also another interesting thing that you can see here is the conveyor belt. That is something that is working. Even if the, there is no GIF showing movement, this conveyor belt is working. It's actually working. So I can do one thing. I'm going to stop the simulation and grab one of those things. For example, those pieces. I'm going to put it on top of the conveyor belt and you will see how... It is working. Let me see if I have put it because the 3D vision here is a little bit. OK, so it's a little bit on top. So I'm going to start again the the physics of the engine. Then it's falling and then it's, it should be moving. Yeah, you can see that it's moving uh, uh, the speed of the uh, conveyor belt. OK, so basically that's it. Uh, that's a simulation. You can play with this a lot and and try to do many, many things. Use it for your own experiments, whatever. Remember that we have this class where we are going to play with this simulation and do interesting things. But now, how can you get this like that, just like that? So you don't have to install anything. Very, very, very simple. So. I'm going to here to my projects area. Here I have all my projects and I have here the ARIAC. So I'm going to create a share link and this link, I'm going to share it with you. So I'm going to put this link beneath this video. And then in order to get this simulation running, you only have to click on that link okay? that you will find beneath this video. Please click on that link and this will automatically copy this whole project that is running and you saw how to make it run you just saw the steps to make it run is going to copy this project into your ROS development studio account that's it and then you can do exactly the same thing as, as i have done here in the video and you don't have to to install anything or whatever so those are things of the past so uh, come create first mandatory you had to have already and and uh, ROS Development Studio account that for free, for example, you can use a free account if you want and then click on the link that that's all. And then you can start playing. So isn't easy that. OK, great. So that's all for today for this video. And then just uh, uh, let me remind you that in the description of the video, you will find a complete uh, list of all the resources that I have been describing here. And if you like the video, please, if you like it, then give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. So and either you either you like it or not, then please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Hasta la vista.